One. Welcome to Warrior Work. I'm Coach Hill, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the Integrative Arts Shaolin Broadsword Form. This form is also called the Shaolin Tornado Broadsword Form and the Shaolin Tiger Broadsword Form. Uh, it's a great form that uh, can be used in a lot of Kempo schools, Kung Fu schools, anything that wants to add another great form. When you're learning the form, if you don't have a broadsword, Again, I recommend getting your broadswords from World Martial Arts Academy in Phoenix. Uh, you can contact them and get the information or from Tiger Claw or the Asian World of Martial Arts. You can also use a stick to learn the form. Uh, you might put a black line along one side to know that's where your blade side is. You can even use PVC pipes with the black line along one side. And if you want to teach it to kids, just get it the length that you want it for the kids that you're teaching. We're going to show you a number of different versions or angles of this. We're going to show it to you from the front first, the opening section, and then I'll do it facing away from you. You're going to start with your feet together, and you're going to sink, drop, uppercut, outward, outward, and basically like in cover theory in Bagua, you're doing an inward circle, outward circle, coming around behind the back, stepping out, cutting up on a 45 degree angle, bow stance, fingers pointing toward the rear, right hand at your ribs. You're gonna cut through the center as your left hand goes out. Circle a little above your head, letting the tip lead from behind. Bringing your left hand in, push out as you bow left, right arm out, blade away. Again, circle in, same as before, behind the back, cut up on a 45 degree angle, fingers pointing to the back, arm on the rib. That's the opening movement right there. And I'm going to do it a few times from the rear. You can see that from the front, rewind it as much as you'd like. But from the rear, of course, it's a lot easier to follow along. So we sink, upper, out, inward, outward, circle, step out, 45 degree up, cut, circle, cut through the middle, tip lead behind, left hand comes in, push, bow stance, circle back behind the head. 45 degree angle up. Fingers again pointing toward the rear. Again, sink, twist, over. As you get more comfortable, let it flow. Cut, circle, push, circle, cut. Again, one more. Over. You'll have the changing of the speeds. And that movement right there, you're gonna use that a lot throughout the form, so you really wanna get that down. Again, coming from the front, sinking. Again, just start off really slow. Learning a martial form is like learning a poem. All you do is learn one piece, then you add one piece to it, and then you add the next piece to it, for the first three lines or stanzas, or for, for the first three lines. And then you move on from there. Okay, part two. Okay, after we get two, uh, again, our third cut here, we're going to turn, and I'm gonna step with my left foot, and I just did a 360 degree cut. Left hand's up, okay? So again, I'm here, and I cut, step 360 degree cut with the sword with one simple step 180 degree step I'm gonna step I'm gonna step again behind with my right foot as I bring this above my head and bow stance to three o'clock when you're learning a form you want to make sure you think in terms of your front direction is 12 o'clock three o'clock six o'clock nine o'clock so whenever you're watching me you can orient yourself to where I'm at, which foot's in position for that. I'm gonna do it one more time from the front. Again, I take one step for a 180 degree or 360 degree cut, circle above the head, push, almost like a ward off in Tai Chi. Okay, so we have from the rear position. So you can follow me. Again, first, blade, step 180 degrees. Step behind, circle the blade, push into ward off. Okay, next movement we're gonna do, same movement, but we're just gonna 
to increase it a little bit. So I'm going to come to this position here. Instead of doing a step, I'm going to do a little jump like I'm jumping over a box. And drop down. So again, when you teach this, you can do it by a step-by-step -step method, and then you add the jump into it. So again, we have turn, step, push, sink in. Movement number two. Let's put those two parts of our Shaolin broadsword form together. Sink. Outward circle, inward circle, cut up. Cut through, circle, push, circle, cut up. Cut, circle, push. Did you can see that time? What did I do? I actually just made a walking fluid movement instead of a jump. So as a martial artist in warrior work, I really want you to learn to be a player. Be a martial player. Don't be a martial robot. You know, learn to master your body. This again is your laboratory. Learn to play with the movements, play with the forms, adapt them to fit your situation, to achieve your goals. Again, these forms are great for developing mind-body mastery, getting your body and your mind to work together. 61 years old, you know, I feel pretty good. Been doing this for quite a while, but it's a good way to maintain your vitality, your energy, and your spirit. Again, this is segment one, and segment two will teach you the next couple of pieces of this form.